Inside the commander box, you'll find the paper instructions, the commander unit itself with pre-installed battery, a small hard mount intended for mountain bikes, a large hard mount intended for road bikes, and two elastomer bands for universal mounting. The commander unit comes pre-installed with a CR1632 battery. It has two buttons and two expansion jacks, as well as an LED indicator. Pressing any button will wake the commander unit. First, you'll need to remove the bolt. Using a three millimeter Allen key, stretch the unit over the round bar, reinsert and tighten the bolt, adjusting the position to where you'd like it and tighten. Slide in the commander unit and you're ready to go. The soft mount is designed to accommodate more ovalized bars. Using the O-ring, it's best to hook it into the bottom so that you can see where you're connecting it. Loop it around the bar and hook it into the top mount. In order to replace the battery, twist open the battery door, lift out the cap, and the battery may come with it or it may fall out. In order to replace the battery, insert the battery upside down into the cap, place in on an angle, press, and turn. Turn on the unit by pressing any of the buttons. Then go into the sensors and add a sensor. Search all and add the commander unit. This will take a second to connect, but will then prompt you to set up the buttons. In this case, we have four listed, the front two on the commander unit, as well as the two on the side for the jacks. As you can see, each one of them has single press and hold and double press. Let's go in and configure this to be a bit more useful. For instance, changing double press to start and stop the timer, and the double press for the left, we will change to the lap button. Pressing a button will change the page, and double pressing will start the timer. Double pressing the other button will now indicate a lap. The two jacks can additionally be configured. Make sure commander is on by pressing a button. Go into the sensors and add a new sensor. Switch the type and a shifting system should appear. Now we add that and wait for it to connect. Once connected, we can get the basic battery status. The hammerhead has hard-coded responses. So pressing left and right will change pages. Holding can zoom in and out on the map function. And double pressing can start the timer. And double pressing the left button will set laps.
open the Bluetooth settings and add a device. It'll show as S Commander as a keyboard. Once connected, it will make a small blue flash. With applications like Zwift, things like difficulty may be adjusted by using left and right in workout mode. Skipping a workout segment may be completed by pressing and holding the right button, while pressing and holding the left button will indicate camera changes. Double pressing the right button will turn around, and this works in both workout and free ride mode. In free ride mode, left and right control the navigation options. Double pressing left will activate a power up. Commander may be used with other applications such as Netflix or Peloton via the web app. Double pressing left will pause the workout and can be resumed as well. Pressing left and right will rewind or fast forward approximately five seconds. For the beta users, in case of a bad firmware update, there is a recovery mode. First, remove the battery. Pressing and holding both buttons while inserting the battery will allow the device to boot into a recovery mode. No lights will flash on battery insertion. In NRF Connect, you should be able to search for and now see sdcom underscore dfu. This indicates the recovery dfu mode. You'll be able to press the install firmware via DFU via zip package. Select the zip package and it will upload. This should enable recovery of the commander unit. This is only indicated as a last resort in case firmware update goes wrong, specifically for the beta users. Once uploaded, Search for new devices and you should now see a S Commander.